stitch incoming. She's right. And there's more. Watch and listen. So I came across Morgan for the People and her post from another TikToker. <laughs> a don't stop her. Um, it was in my feed um, on my political um, platform here on TikTok. Some of you are aware of who I am. I am Tigress Sydney Acute McDaniel Tigress Queen. Get her done, McDaniel. And why is all this relevant? Why am I coming here? Because some of y'all know that I am a new lawyer, not yet licensed. I am preparing for law clerkship and for sitting, you know, sitting for that bar. I am so impressed by her work and she is indeed doing her civic duty. So shout out to her. Um, as a lawyer, um, and even before finishing law school, some of you know I started law school back in 2002. Um, that's a whole, you know, another story. I, I had to learn to walk again. My father passed away, so I dropped out of law school at North Carolina Central University. And then later, after recovering and all the things, uh, you know, studied my, uh, went into uh, my PhD program and then my recent JD program. So all of that is to say, I noticed that someone in her comments said, well, why hasn't a lawyer come forward and said this? Like I, I've been telling y'all for years and years and years and years. So, and I've been saying this, I said the Heritage Foundation is not following law as it relates to its status with, uh, as a nonprofit organization. I've said that I've called out a many of nonprofit organizations here in Charlotte, honey, they be doing all kinds of funky monkey stuff here in Charlotte and think they can just get away with it. Don't y'all remember when I sued the black political caucus and then they changed their status, their tax status and entity status. Why do you think they did that? Come on friends, right? And so you shouldn't be scared to take action because here's another thing that I have reported on over and over and over and over and over and over again at infinitum, okay? At infinitum, however you want to pronounce it with a long vowel I or a short vowel I, it's the same, same thing. And it's giving we the people. <laughs> so here's the deal, feels. The Secretary of State and uh, the establishment of nonprofits, uh, the Secretary of State acts as a fiduciary and regulates the activity of nonprofits in that it need be in good faith and lawful. So it can't entail frauds, misappropriation of funds. You've heard me speak out about all these things so often. Those who know me, know that I have. For those who may stumble across this post now, and hopefully this does go viral, understand that everything she said, 1000% correct, and even more so based on the things that I'm telling you now. So too many people hold the, the myth that a nonprofit can be owned by one person. You hear people all the time, I own a nonprofit. I, I own a nonprofit. No, you don't. By law, you cannot own a nonprofit. A nonprofit by law is for the benefit of the people, the benefit of the public. And through that, that, uh, that stipulation in law that it must benefit the people, it is effectually owned by the people for that benefit. So even where there is a board of directors, the board of directors does not own a nonprofit. And because one person cannot own it and it is for the benefit of the public, all of us, like all, all the public, we the people, all of us, I don't care what your nonprofit's function is, it is still for the benefit by law of all people, okay? Because of that, they can't engage in certain activity. Boom. And we already know that generally, but too often, you know, you know, when you start to talk to people about taxation and all, you know, and all the laws that, uh, you know, that, um, are, uh, complex and, and, uh, full, if you will, complex and voluminous 
then people, you know, they kind of glass over, you know, their eyes glass over and they're like, oh gosh, this is too much. But the truth of the matter is that she's telling the 1000% truth, completely accurate, completely, completely, completely accurate. And there's so many different ways that we can hit them up. <laughs> You've known that I have filed election protests. I've done that. You can file an election protest. Any voter, any person with interest, it doesn't have to be a candidate. You don't have to have a law degree. You don't have to have any, like you don't, you don't have to have any specialization, no certification, no specialization. You don't need any of the letters that I have behind my name. As a voter, you have an interest in every election and you yourself can file an election protest. You can do that. Okay. Especially if someone is interfering with the election. Okay. Got it. All right. All right. All right. And there are different, there are different um, tiers of this. And I can give you even more information. Feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to DM me. Feel free to email me. Feel free to call me. My number is my number. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then, like I said, you can also, um, you know, reincorporate in the Secretary of State. You can actually report heritage to its respective uh, Secretary of State. <laughs> because their activity cannot be what consistent with what what are they doing it's domestic terrorism and it's a the manifesto is a plan to overthrow the government which is high treason like i i've said these i've i've been saying these things for years and but you know, I need y'all to follow me. Y'all, I think too often people think of my my platform and my messages, either it's it goes over their head and they feel like maybe it's too much or it can be, it can definitely be stress inducing. It can be anxiety inducing. I admit that because it, you know, it sounds like the move, you know, these uh, dramatic politically charged movies that we watch and, and, you know, somebody ends up being assassinated. Honey, but if we the people just band together, <laughs> we can just sit their asses all down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Make them just sit down. Say, sit down and shut up. We, we the people got this. Go, go, go to time out and stay in time out. So she's 1000% correct. Don't be scared to take action. That's what they want you to be. They want you to be so scared to take action so that they can continue to enjoy unchecked fraud, pattern corruption, and a coup d'etat. <laughs>